Hey guys, I made a video a while back on how Will got south of the wall in episode 1. A common question that people raise there is, how did the white rise at Castle Black back in season 1 episode 8? It seemingly came back to life south of the wall and tried to kill Lord Commander G.R. Mormon. So how did this happen? If the wall is made of magic, how did a white get past the magic? And after it got past the magic, how did the Night King raise and control the white south of the wall? I have not been able to find concrete answers, but I found some good theories. First, people theorize that the magic is in the wall, not south of the wall. So in theory, the Night King's powers will work north or south of the wall. He just can't get past the wall himself. But there is evidence that his skin changing powers work south of the wall. In the show, the dude's eyes don't turn blue until the night of the attack. In addition, the white seems to specifically attack the Lord Commander. So it's pretty good evidence that the Night King is controlling the white, even though it is south of the wall. Now let's move on to the other question. How did the whites get past the magical barrier? In the books, we know that the dudes were converted into whites north of the wall because their eyes were already blue. In the show, the dudes' eyes don't turn blue until the night of the attack. But in the books and the show alike, the bodies don't smell, which would suggest that they are not rotting. It would suggest that they were turned, so to say, north of the wall in both the book and the show. And if the wall was magical, like Blood Raven's cave was, the white would not be able to get past it, right? But I found a cool theory. The theory is that they were sort of invited south of the wall by the Night's Watch, a similar concept to vampires. They can't go in your house, but if you invite them inside, they can come in. The magical black gate the Night Fort is a good example in the books. Sam was able to open the gate for Bran by saying part of his Night's Watch vows, and the face opened up and Bran could walk through. But without a sworn brother of the Night's Watch there, Bran and his team could not have gotten through that gate. In the show, it was just a secret passageway, but did not seem to have any magic. This invitation method might hold some water. Let's look at some very old history and lore. The 13th Lord Commander of the Night's Watch, known as the Knight's King, not to be confused with the show character known as the Night King, even though they may turn out to be one and the same, he supposedly fell in love with a woman who had blue eyes. Her description makes her seem like a female White Walker, which would be pretty gnarly. She supposedly came south of the wall and ruled the Night's Watch with him. So if she was a White Walker, how did she get past the wall? Maybe through the vampire invitation method. So I really like this vampire theory. I'm not saying they're vampires, but the concept of the Night's Watch having the power to invite people both north or south of the wall. And the fact that the invitation is needed to go in both directions, at least in the books, is pretty important. I'll get back to this at the end of the video. But here's a second theory that I mentioned on a different video recently. The Black Gate is magical, right? And it was built at the first fort at the wall called the Night Fort. The Night Fort is now abandoned. One of the newer forts, Castle Black, has a man-made tunnel through the wall, so it begs the question, is this tunnel through Castle Black and possibly the one over at East Watch by the Sea? Are these tunnels man-made weaknesses in the wall? Can the Dead Army use these tunnels? Is that why the White was able to get dragged through the tunnel? Alright, now let's end the video with some higher level theorizing. How come you need to say the Night's Watch vows to go south or north of the wall via the Black Gate? In other words, why is there sort of protection from humans going north of the wall? That might be evidence that the wall was not built as a defense mechanism per se, but maybe as part of a pact. Humans stay south, White Walkers stay north, and the Night's Watch are the middlemen. They're allowed to go on both sides. Good walls make good neighbors, being sarcastic. I'll explain on this in a video that I'm working on in regards to the Night King being the original last hero. If you want to see that, hit subscribe. Have a good day, guys.